Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Have you ever tried to talk to someone and they were so engrossed in something else that they did not listen to you? That seems to happen more and more as we tend to be riveted to our phones. Sometimes, even when someone looks like they're paying attention, you realize later that they didn't really hear you. Maybe their mind was on something else, or maybe you just weren't a priority to them. Whatever the reason, people aren't always good listeners. But God is. That's one of his promises that he repeats throughout Scripture. As I read through all the promises about God hearing us when we call on him, I noticed that they were directed toward those who had a relationship with him, or who came to him in humble repentance, wanting a relationship with him. He tells those of us who know him to come boldly before his throne of grace to find help in time of need. 1 Peter 3.12 says, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. Proverbs 15.29 says, The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. The Lord doesn't promise to hear unbelievers, though I'm sure if an unbeliever is seeking the Lord, he will hear, and in his boundless grace and mercy, he will answer. However, even a believer, when sin is in our hearts, that prayer line to God gets blocked. Psalm 66.18 says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. Speaking with God in his throne room is not something to take lightly. It's a privilege. We should only attempt to enter when our heart is right with him after confessing and repenting from sin. But God always wants to hear from his children, just like my parents love to hear from me on FaceTime and my dad enjoys getting emails from me. The Lord encourages us in Jeremiah 33, 3, Call on me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things that you do not know. In Psalm 91, God promises that his child shall call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and will deliver him and honor him. David certainly believed that. He said, In the day of trouble I will call upon you, for you will answer me. God doesn't just want to hear from us in times of trouble, though. We can come to Him with our joys and our victories, thanking Him, praising Him, and He will rejoice with us. When my children were small, we FaceTimed my parents every time they lost a tooth, learned something new, or just whatever. The grandparents loved that, and I'm sure God does too. But mostly, we go to God with requests, whether it's for ourselves, a family member, or a friend. We have lots of prayer requests. Jesus said, Ask and you will receive, that your joy may be full. 1 John 5.14 says, This is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. Sometimes we don't even know how to pray for things. But Paul said, The Spirit helps us in our weaknesses, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. So God's got that covered. In fact, He knows what you need before you even ask. So why pray? Because He wants us to. He wants us to ask specifically so we can see Him working in response to our prayers. One of my favorite verses on prayer is Isaiah 65, 24. Before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. Sometimes when we ask, God already has his answer on its way. He's already been working on it because he knew what we would need. Isn't that an amazing, special relationship we have with him? God promises to listen to us when we call on him. But I was thinking, doesn't the problem come when we don't listen to him? Prayer is a two-way conversation. He loves to hear from us, but we should love hearing from Him, too, in the many-dimensional ways that He speaks to us, 
whether through his word, our pastor, Christian friends, Christian radio and podcasts, circumstances, or even that still small voice. Are you listening? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.